So this is where it all starts, or some people might say this is where it ends for a barn, but where it starts for the two birds. A little bit of Alberta gets preserved, get new life reborn into something that's beautiful and that we can appreciate, you know what, for a whole another hundred years. Who are the two birds? My name is Robin and Clint, my husband, who uh, has the last name Pigeon. So when we got married, my name became Robin Pigeon, hence the two birds. I love it, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah. We salvage old barns, buildings, bridges, essentially any type of recycled wood, and we dismantle it, we bring it back to our shop, we clean it, and then we create custom pieces from that. People are leaning more towards the recycled idea purely because the wood comes with a story, a story about where it was originally used for. Some of the stuff they're actually getting has been recycled twice already. It's built to last. It's not just a veneer, it's like it is solid wood. With the design trends, how they've gone, we've kind of hit it at a place where people are already looking for stuff like this because originally people were concerned with using recycled materials like is it healthy, can I have it in my home, what's your process? But we were able to develop at a time where all of those processes were happening naturally anyway, so we were kind of able to go with it and just kind of went with the trend and then it's just developed into this wonderful little design manufacturing space for people. How are you doing, Clint? Good, how are you doing? Good, man. Thank you for taking me into your workshop. Ah, no problem. I want to know what gets a guy like you going to make stuff from old stuff. I think it's just the art. It's artistic. It's something different. It keeps my mind creative. But it's not easy to be in Alberta at this point in time. No. Especially not to start a business. No. What's the hardest part of it? It's just a roller coaster ride. Some months are really good and some months are really bad, right? Mm -hmm. Did you imagine that this was gonna happen? I guess we got a little bit lucky. We just kind of found the right people, helped us kind of get this developed, and then from there, it's just keep growing, keep expanding, and start going Canada-wide with shipping. We find that people, once they receive a piece of our furniture, the emotion almost overwhelms them. They become so excited and they're excited to share these pieces with their family. They're excited to show their neighbors. We've actually had calls back with people saying that like, all of my neighbors have been over. They want to come in and see you as well. It starts a bit of like a reclaimed community. People are just really enjoying having that special piece of art in their home. I'm an entrepreneur. It's always been, I've always never worked for anyone in my entire life. And tell me what's the best part of your day still. Outside tearing the barn down where it's quiet and there's no one around. <laughs> it's peaceful. You're standing there in the history of the whole building just taking it all in. That's the best part of the sum of our days. 